in compliance. All right. All right. We are not being obedient to the words of the text. And so now, as we look at justification by faith, understanding that Israel had sinned and come shot of the glory of God. All right. That the rest of the world had sinned and come shot of the glory of God. Amen. How in the world can we possibly be saved? Sure, we know that Jesus died, but how does that really work? One man died for the sins of many. How, how does that really work? You ever wondered that? Because I've known a lot of individuals who have died and they didn't do nothing for nobody. All right. Come on, talk to me a minute here. And yet, Jesus, one man, died. And his death. Pay the price right. for the sin. Amen. Now y'all gonna help me. Amen. How does that really work? You know, you know, believing that he died and that he rose again caused you to have no sin. Right. How? How does that work? world can, I mean, that's why some folks won't accept it. Uh -huh. mm. Because it doesn't make, right. come on, talk to me, somebody. Right. I mean, you can believe your relatives are gone to heaven. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Right. All right. But yet by believing that Come Jesus on. died and rose from the grave, Amen. people who have committed sin right. is not charged right. with committing sin. All right. How? How does that work? Work. And so Paul wants to help the church yes. to understand how. I wish I had some. Help. Amen. Once, I tell you twice, you ought to be interested Amen. in your own salvation. Amen. You ought not be satisfied with just going to church. Right. You ought not be satisfied with just being in an auxiliary in church. Amen. You ought not be satisfied with just being on a committee in church. Amen. You ought to have an interest. Come on, come on. In your own salvation. Amen. If you don't take an interest in your own salvation, how do you know you're saved? All right. I wish. Come on. Somebody ought to help me here. If you don't take an interest in your own salvation, Amen. how do you know that you're saved? All right. You should be particularly interested in your own salvation. All right. Whatever happens, you should have a clear understanding All right. of how you have been saved. I wish somebody Amen. I move from helping folks. I need help. <laughs> you ought to be interested in your own soul salvation because when you have quit the busy walks of this life All right. and you're on the other side yeah. of the river yeah. when you're standing before the judge it's too late to ask questions yeah. so you should have an interest and so Paul wants the church to have an understanding of how this process Works. Amen. In chapter 4, when he talks about justification by faith, mm -hmm. he uses Abraham as an illustration. All right. Now, before I get too far, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. All right. Because I know you want to know. Or was I wrong? No. I was wrong? No. 
You want to know? Yeah. Before I get too far, before I get too deep, you, you want to know? Justification by faith is a central doctrine of Christianity. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Which means every Christian, mm -hmm. every believer, All right. is justified by faith. All right. Are y'all with me? Amen. And so, by definition, mm -hmm. justification by faith is the judicial act of God uh -huh. whereby God justly declares and treats as righteous those who believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I better say that again. Yeah. Justification by faith is defined as the judicial act of God. All right. All right. Whereby God justly declares and treats as righteous. Come on. Those who believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, that left a whole lot of folks out. Mm. Are y'all gonna help me? Amen. That left a whole lot of folks out because right. it suggests that in order to be justified, you have to believe. You cannot believe in God and be justified. All right. That's right. Faith. You got to believe in the Son. Amen. John 3.16 is not a misprint. All right. Jesus said, Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. You cannot be justified by believing in God. You got to believe in the Son. All right. And so, for those who believe in Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. God justly declares and treats them as righteous, even though they are un. I wish I had some help. Amen. The judicial act of God, the judicial act of God, the ju this is a little bit early for Bible. Come on, come on. The judicial act of God, the judicial act of God of God means that God has the authority Amen. to judge sin Amen. and sinners. Amen. I wish y'all would help me with that. The judicial act of God means that God has the authority to judge sin and sinners. Sin. All right. Amen. The judicial act of God means that God has the authority to judge sin yeah. and sinners. sinners. The judicial act of God means that God has the authority yeah. to judge sin and sinners. sinners. Brothers and sisters, you should know by now that sin is defined. So simply, ain't eh? it? Amen. Sin is simply the violation. That's it. Or the non-compliance. All right. With the law of God. Amen. I said y'all should know that. Y'all yes. should know that. Amen. Sin is the violation or the right. non-compliance with the law of God. 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 It is the violation or the non-compliance with the law of God. God. Yes. So sinners are defined as those who violate or do not comply right. with the law Amen. of God. God. The law of God. The law of God. The law of God. The law of God, the law of God of which 